Robin Muni! Stop Robin Muni! Stop Robin Muni! Stop Robin Muni! We agree with all the all the um, all the things that the, the public is saying. Look, where's the money? Where where um, the layoffs? The whole nine. And so we're out just again like to support them. I know people are upset. We believe that they're upset because the perception is that we said no to something. But um, I tell people this all the time. Um, it's like the bully on the. Um, on the schoolyard, how much, when he comes to you and asks you for your lunch money, you give it to him, not because he's right, you give it to him because you're afraid. And so this vote pretty much said, hold on, you know what, even if we have to fight, we're going to fight. Even, even if we get beat up, we're going to fight for our rights. We're going to fight to hold on for what we have. And so really, again, we don't, we don't know who's behind the march or what have you, but the perception that, uh, in the public right now, the operators, we're going to make sure that we understand that we're all labor. Whether you're behind that wheel or you're riding that bus, we're all labor. And we need to start asking, where's the money downtown? Because what they're doing is pitting us against one another. And just like a, a rooster fight, roosters, are, uh, they're all the same. They look alike. They have the same functions, but they throw us in there and make the big money off of the rooster fight. And we don't have a clue why we're fighting against one another. So again, it's just a unify. We don't know what's going to happen when we get out there. So do you think it was calculated on the part of the MTA board and the mayor to try to blame the muni drivers for this situation? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. I think that's clear at this point. It really is clear. And I don't know if you saw the MTA meeting, but the public didn't buy it. At least those that were at the MTA meeting, they didn't buy that. They went in support of us. So we're going to piggyback off of that and let them know, look, we're in this together. This is all labor. It's a class issue is what it is. And so the bosses downtown, they don't collect from the transit fees at all. There are they no have, transit fees for big business. There you are. Those are the real fair robbers right there. Those are your fair cheats right there, not the people who come through the back door. And a lot of them come through there because they can't afford it. And so again, it has been a little pit between the two of us, but we're here to say no, no, we're one. One class, we're fighting the same struggle, bottom line. And this is a wealthy city. So oh, absolutely. A the money's there, really. Again, they're afraid of big business, but they'll come and push the little guy around. We said we're saying enough. No, we're saying enough to the bully. We're saying enough. And we don't know what it's going to cost us, but we're going to fight them. We're going to fight them. So have you been getting more support from other unions and other people as a result of standing up and, and, and now, just starting that process? We're, at, we're just starting it. Actually, we did. We've been a little sleeping giant as well, so we don't know what you know what powers and what's behind us. We 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 believe that we will get the same support when Sean Ellsberg came against us initially about the charter, where we got the support of um, the healthcare workers and our fire and police department. But we'll see now because it's really uh, it's blowing up pretty much as the kids say. It's a battle. It really is. A battle and so we're, we're hoping that they will stand with us we believe that they will so. now a lot of the people said I mean muni drivers they faced a lot of anger and frustration from people because they're, they're taking the blame right. for something that has nothing to do with that they're not <laughs> Right. responsible for what's right. going on. And again, that's why we're here, to let people know and educate them as best we can. Um, Sean is not going to ride the bus. So we're actually starting a little campaign within the, uh, you know, uh, within the divisions. You know, talk to your passengers. They really want to know. You're going to get some people who are just going to vent. They're going to read that and go go with it. But there are some people, you'd be surprised, the majority of our riders really want to know what's going on and what they can do. We really appreciate you. We really have this or that. So they have our backs. It's going to be up to us to communicate that a little better than we have. That's it. It's a, it's a, it's a new ball game. We've never had to fight before. Are we ready? Or we're getting ready. Like I said, we don't know what's going to happen. Well, San Francisco's got a long labor history of, of standing together. So. Absolutely. That's what we have going for us. That's what we have. Like I said, I think the, the masses know because we're all in labor together pretty much what's going on downtown. And I think even though people can't explain it, they have a fundamental understanding of what's going on based on the bailouts. You knew still, even though um, you know we bailed the banks out, somebody walked away with $30 million, $10 million, even though they didn't take a salary this year, according to Bank of America. But they didn't have to. If you're going to give me $30 million, nah, I don't need to get paid the entire year. So people are starting to understand because it's affecting them on a personal level. People are losing their jobs, so uh, losing their homes, foreclosure here, foreclosure there, credit issues. So again, I think uh, I think we uh, I think we have a fighting chance.
message is, our message is the budget. Our message is the budget. It takes 200 million to run the operations of Muni. It's 700 million of the budget. Where is the other five? That's our only issue. Where is the other five? The budget is our issue. Don't let, don't be trapped into this trap over there. The budget is our issue. That's why we're gonna walk up the city hall. We're gonna tell them, ask them, where's the other 500 million? No layoffs! No layoffs! No layoffs! No layoffs! No layoffs! No layoffs! I think what it is is that the powers that be has pretty much have gotten away from it being about the people and for the people and it's like they actually really could care less about what's going on for the people. So I think the drivers are pretty, we've been thrown under the bus literally speak, you know, so to speak. So, you know, it's easy to blame us, you know, and we hear the gripes of the public all the time, you know, and we sit there and we listen and they got legitimate gripes, but unfortunately it's not with us. There's about 10 of them over there, but we all here because we're dissatisfied with how Muni's running. We're dissatisfied with how the management's running this scene and trying to put the blame on the operators, all right? All right. So you know what? We are against fair increases and we are against service cuts and we are against layoffs. So that's what we're about. All right. The main thing is we are not here to get no verbal altercation with these folks down here, nor physical. They want to fix beauty, we want to fix beauty. But the wrong thing is, they trying to blame the operators for the problem. But that's not what we're about. We want to fix it just like they want to fix it. So we're going to do down here peacefully, all right? Did you know they're spending, they're going to spend $3 million a year on a drive cam system that is anchored in San Diego. Nothing can replace human to human communication and training. Nothing. They said they would have spent $3 million in San Diego to train us. That the reason that most of the operators live out of town is because we pay up to $800 a month to medical. We can't afford to stay in the city. We can't afford to. Did you know that? No. Oh, I didn't think so. We must all understand that you cannot separate Gavin Newsom from the Board of Supervisors. You cannot separate the Board of Supervisors from Gavin Newsom. You cannot afford to not include Nathan Ford. Yeah. The public is not against us. Where is he? We are misinformed. Yes. We must take our issues to Gavin Newsom and the Board of Supervisors who have ne neglected this city for far too long. Yes. Yeah. We must yeah. hold them accountable yes. for the problems that we face. Yes. And for us, the senior citizens, I know firsthand how Gavin Newsom and the Board of Supervisors neglect the seniors in this city. Yeah. We must come together as one yeah. and show them that we are a team. That we've been to the table for about a month. We put numerous, numerous proposals on the table with Mr. May. And Mr. Ford, they re flatly rejected them. They flatly rejected them. We said furloughs. We said this. We said that. We even took a stand to say, even as hard as union as we is, we said take it off the bottom. You know what they said? They would not even show us the numbers. They would not even show us the numbers. So you ask them if we gave back. They're going to always tell you a lie. Uh, last, last week on Friday, the MTA had their head handed to them because the drivers and the riders were united. And that's exactly what they didn't want to have happen. They wanted to split them apart from each other. And unfortunately, some organizations that call themselves uh, advocates for riders are lining themselves up with the most reactionary members of the Board of Supervisors and our beloved Mayor Gruesome Newsom. So uh, I'm very optimistic right now. This is the first time we've seen a rider-driver movement. So I was pretty pleased with that. We have to keep going at this because basically MTA is out to wreck Muni. It's going to be done in succession and in progressive stages. And they have to be resisted because otherwise we won't have any transportation left. Their motto right now is if you're not on the bus, you're under the wheels.